Hello all. In today's video, we are going to discuss about void pointers in C programming. But before going for actual discussion, we need to understand what is a pointer. Basically, pointer is a variable in which we can store the address of any other variable. We will understand this with some small example. Let's assume that we have declared one variable where inside our program. What will happen inside memory? Inside memory, four bytes of space will be reserved and inside those four bytes, that value 11 will be stored. Whatever will be the starting address of those four bytes will be considered as address of that variable where. If you want to store this 100 inside some pointer variable, we need to have one pointer variable. So let us declare one pointer variable in our program and store the address of where inside that PTR. So what will happen in case of this PTR? Again, in case of this PTR, some amount of space will be reserved and inside those reserved space will store the 100. So indirectly here, we can say that that PTR is pointing to the address 100 and that PTR is pointing to the address of variable where. Now here, we need to understand two, three terms for this pointer variable. And very first is what type of pointer. So what is type of a pointer? So type of a pointer variable must be same as type of a variable whose address you are going to store inside that pointer variable. So here in our case, we want to store address of variable where inside PTR. And what is type of variable where? It is integer. That's why we need to have type as integer pointer. That's why we have declared PTR as of type integer pointer here. So pointer type should be same as variable type whose address you are going to store inside that pointer variable. Now let us talk about second point, second term here. And that is what size of a pointer variable. How much space it is going to take inside memory. Irrespective of data type, every pointer will take 8 bytes of space or 4 bytes of space inside memory. But depending on which compiler you are using. So if you are using 64-bit compiler, your size of pointer is what 8 bytes. And if you are using 32-bit compiler, size of your pointer variable is what 4 bytes. Now, suppose uh, size of PTR, if you talk, it is what? 8 bytes on 64-bit compiler and 4 bytes on what? 32-bit compiler. If you talk about character pointer, so again, size will be what? 8 bytes on 64-bit compiler and 4 bytes on what? 32-bit compiler. Now, let us go ahead and talk about the third concept related to pointer and that is what? Scale factor of a pointer. So what is scale factor of a pointer? So it is nothing but size of data type of that pointer variable. Pointer variable type, what will be the size of that pointer variable type is nothing but scale factor of that pointer variable. But why it is needed? What is need of the scale factor? So how much amount of memory or how much amount of data you want to read or write from that given address that tells the scale factor. So in our case, if you talk about the scale factor of PTR variable, it is four bytes because from this given address 100, we want to read four bytes from memory and we want to write four bytes on that memory. That's why scale factor of PTR variable is what? Four bytes. If you talk about character pointer variables, scale factor is what? One byte because size of character variable is what? One byte. If you talk about float type of variable, scale factor is what? Four bytes because size of float variable is what? Four bytes and so on. So these are the basic concepts of your pointers. Now we can go ahead and we can talk about the void pointer. So what is void pointer? It is capable of storing address of any type of variable. In previous slide, we discussed Pointer type should be match with what type of variable whose address you are going to store. But here, what we are saying, 
we can store address of any type of variable inside void pointer. We'll understand this with same example, with same example. So if you want to store address of this variable where in one of the void pointer, we can store it directly here on location 100 that where variable is created and on location 200 that PTR variable is created. And on this 200 location, we are storing 100, which is address of variable where. So here again, we can say that PTR is pointing to the address 100 or PTR is pointing to the address of variable where. But here, there is one difference. In previous case, it is integer pointer. But in this case, it is what? Void pointer. Void pointer. And inside void pointer, we are storing address of type integer pointer. And that's why, that's why these void pointers are also called as what generic pointer because they are storing address of any type of variable. So here we need to discuss two points. First point is that when we are assigning some address to the void pointers, we don't have to take care or we don't have to worry. Without changing type of that pointer, we can directly store that pointer, that address inside void pointer. So uh, saying we have done inside PTR, which is of type void pointer, we are storing address of variable where, which is of type integer pointer. So we don't have to worry. We can directly assign that integer type address inside void pointer. But when you will go for the dereferencing, means when you are going to access those that variable using pointer variable ptr we need to do type casting why we need to do type casting here why we need to do type casting in case of dereferencing because your void pointer do not have scale factor and if you don't know the scale factor how much amount of data to be read or written from that address that we don't know that's why while dereferencing, we need to typecast it. So by which type you will do typecasting? So typecasting will be done by same type of a pointer to whom it is pointing. So in our case, that PTR is pointing to the variable var, which is of type what integer. So when we are going to dereference or when we are going to use value at operator on that PTR variable, we need to typecast it by integer pointer. Now in front of you, in first case, we are reading value from that pointer variable. We are reading value of that variable using that pointer variable. And in second case, we are writing some value on that variable using that void pointer. So here, two points we need to understand. When we are assigning address to the void pointer, we don't have to do anything. But when we are dereferencing that void pointer, we need to do type casting. And why we need type casting? Because we don't know the scale factor of void pointer. Right? Now, where such pointers are used? Now, let us talk about the applications of this void pointer. So, this void pointer is used in generic programming. Now, in C programming, where we use this void pointer. So we use this void pointer in dynamic memory allocation. So when you're going for allocating memory dynamically, you are using this void pointer. So all three functions using which we can allocate the memory dynamically, it returns the void pointer. Because when we are allocating memory dynamically, we even don't know which type of data we are going to store inside that memory. That's why it treats as void pointer and it gives you the return address as of type void. Same for free function. So this free function need only starting address. So it even don't care which type of data is stored inside it. So whichever memory you want to free, you can pass address starting address of that memory to the free function as a void this is one application of void pointer now let us talk about the second application so if you are going for file io and if you are doing file io using fread and fwrite 
again we use this void pointer because inside f read and f write we even don't care which type of data we are reading or writing so we just care about size of the size of that data and count of that data so we don't even care about type of the data so we can pass address or we can pass data using this void pointer to f read and f write this is second application and if you talk about third application so in c programming we are having two library functions b search and q sort so these two functions are used to search and sort any type of data so this b search function is used to search any type of key in any type of uh, in any uh, set of collection any uh, se in set of collection of any type so here we can search any type of key in uh, collection of any type of data so we'll pass that key and collection to the b search function as a void pointer and in case of qsort function as well uh, we are sorting the collection of any type of data that's why we can pass that collection to this qsort function as a void pointer so these are a few applications of this void pointer so in today's video we discussed about what is pointer what is void pointer and we also discussed about some applications of this void pointer so thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.